welcome back to another video guys this is uh series three part three whatever you want to call it of me um adding parts to my sti right here um if you watch series one which was uh installing the access port uh common issues and you know just giving you guys a few pointers of installing the access port uh series two or part two was uh installing the tomei uh downpipe and uh titanium exhaust full exhaust and now for series three we have visconti's prototype of the plug-in you know plug and play wideband uh in order for you to log it on your sti as some of you may know the stis do not have a wide band they only have a narrow band so anything at watt or open loop is just a total guess on the access port it can't read that much so you need to actually have an actual wideband gauge or the inline wideband works just fine um and the point of this kit is to pretty much get rid of the the rero 2 sensor and plug this kit into the rero 2 sensor and the gauge uh or the inline controller reports back to the ecu saying hey, these are the volts um, in the tuning software. We adjust that in order to read the correct wideband AFR. I actually hit up Visconti because he does have a rear O2 harness. And he said that, hey, man, I got an actual. But when you get the harness from him, you actually need to buy a gauge also. But he told me, hey, I have a uh, inline wideband, you know, plug and play kit. Um, he told me straight up that he doesn't know if it 100% works yet because he wants somebody to test it. Well, I'm the one that's testing it, so we'll see if it actually works. He needs to, uh, you know, have feedback on the lanes or anything like that. I'm still going to show you guys the process of installing it no matter what. Um, hopefully everything is good and hopefully everything can be done. Um, so here it is. It's right here. Now, this may not be official packaging or anything like this. So this is just a prototype uh, of me testing it. So it looks as if right now that, so this is normally, this part right here is normally just the factory uh, controller and it normally comes out with a whole bunch of wires uh, that you would hook up to power, ground, uh, bolts to um, output bolts or anything. Looks like Visconti got the TGV plug and it looks like there is power, looks like there's power, signal, ground, and I'm not too sure what the other one is, but this plugs into your rear O2. And then this is the grounding strap that you'd have to find a place under there, uh, maybe on the transmission bell housing. And then this is the actual controller itself. It's an inline, so there is no gauge. The inline AEM does not give a gauge. Everything is done through here. And then this end right here plugs into the actual wideband sensor, which is this right here, which will plug into the downpipe at the bottom. I'm gonna get to installing at least this this honestly I'm not too sure where the best place to do this I mean the wires should be long enough I should honestly be able to probably have to put this up here and then run these two wires down and just pray that they actually reach I guess we're gonna find out so I'll keep you guys updated on what works and what doesn't work and things like that so I'll be right back for this side with the grounding strap it plugs into uh, the rear O2 sensor. This go up the driver's side of the tranny on top of the lake over the tranny. So it'll kind of be just like that. This end is gonna go up the passenger side of the tranny to the rear O2. So this part's pretty much gonna be chilling right across right there, probably zip tied, um, just hiding away. So as you guys can see, there goes the end line. Uh, this side on the driver's side goes down to the rear O2 sensor to the ECU. 
and then this side this cable goes to the actual wideband sensor so there is enough room to uh, properly do this you actually have a lot more slack left so I'm gonna pull all the rest of this up and get some zip ties and get that all tightened down I'm gonna show you guys the bottom of it where I hooked up at and how I ran it that way you guys know there goes the sensor right there literally have it running up top of uh, the mount right here the trans mount This camera is pretty big, so it's really hard. Yes, but I have it running along the transmission up until this point right here. Okay, so I'm gonna zip tie all this and get this extra slack up back through there. Then if I show you what I did over here, as you guys can see, it's this wire right here. It's just plugged into the rear O2 sensor. Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, all you really had to do was take the old rear O2 sensor off of this. Um, take the rear O2 sensor uh, bracket, not bracket, but it's a little plastic clip. Just take it off and then bend it backwards. Kind of what I did right here. I just That's all I did. I just bended it backwards and it fit. And now I'm just going to zip tie this and this should be all good to go. Got the um, inline plug and play uh, wideband sensor by uh, Visconti uh, installed. The inline part's literally right here. Uh, once again, this side with a lot of slack goes to uh, the wideband right here um, that's plugged into the down pipe down at the bottom and then the side plugs into the actual ECU rear O2 sensor put in a zip tie here just for this just to get it you know snug and then over here I bundled up these wires and look oh, right here these bottom wires right here and just zip tied them to right this so The install part is done. It literally probably took 15, 20 minutes. I just made adjustments to the map to accept flex fuel um, and for the wide, the inline Visconti wideband. Uh, currently I am flashing it. So once this is all done, I can actually close this and let out the USB. Put this over to the side. Uh, once this flashes, it should be able to read the ethanol content with no issue. Um, just currently waiting for it to flash. Up here, change the data log. Um, that way my tuner can see it, AKA me. And we are going to do ethanol final. And then even over, let's see, which one should I get rid of? Probably, we'll get rid of boost. We really don't need boost. I'm gonna do ethanol final. And there we go. It's reading correctly. So we'll start this up. Let it learn a little bit. Wait for the AFR to kinda come down. So that sends only rear O2 is the Visconti wideband. Uh, so we'll see how this levels out. Not spot on as that, look, it's going up. So it should be around 14.7. I probably do have to play around with the, um, this doesn't have a stock intake. This does have a uh, parent. So I do have to adjust a little bit. It seems like it's moving up slowly, so it should be going up. But yeah, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button. Please subscribe, share the video, and I am out, guys.